All right, welcome back. I just passed the first trial of the Thunder God. And I'm going to see what else he has. And the chat just had a great suggestion for grapes, nuts, cheese cubes, and or summer sausage for a during the game snack. Oh, I guess that was the only trial of the Thunder God. That's all I get for not <laughs> paying closer attention. Yeah, like the bound spectus things. Exactly. Maybe I should stock up on those because right now what I have are these um, pepperoni combos. But I feel like those are going to be far too crunchy for what I'm going for. Oh, there are more Thunder God. Okay. I do have a law wedge. Do I not have a law wedge? I thought I had a lob wedge. Oh, I haven't equipped the lob wedge. Uh, well, in that case, how do I get... Where am I? Oh, okay, I can change from here. Whew. Done. All right, there we go. Let's do the next trial here. Behold the trial of Loft. Oh, that's not the voice that it is. <clears throat> Behold the trial of Loft. You must hit three consecutive shots over the wall of water and land within the targets. Is that the voice I did earlier? I don't even know at this point. Oh no, look out for the water pillars. It's like a reverse Moses situation. And the sand numbers. Okay, okay there we go. Is that good? Did I do a good? I think I did a good. Good. Cool. There we go. Okay, then cut it just a little short. Hit in the rings. Good. That's in. This trial is going significantly better. Oh. There. Yeah. I can't wait to actually use this lob nice. shot um, in the game. That'll be handy. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the chat. There we go. All right. Oh, I think my. Uh... Hold on. Hold for edit. On. Anyone in chat right now? I don't think I can see a chat because I think things are. Uh... There we go. Okay, now I can see your messages. Something got messed up on my end. I can hear you. I can see you. Oh. Okay. There we go. Wonderful. You're ready for the third and final. No. For the third and final great challenge. Come closer. I don't want to. That sounds weird. Also, weird for this game to start introducing golf gods this far in. Behold the trial of timing. You must wield death shots and deflect three of my lightning attacks before time runs out. Oh, okay. I guess that's what we're doing. Oh, he's so shiny. Oh, look at him. He's cool. You can use special dash to destroy certain obstacles. Okay. Yay! Okay, here we go. I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh. oh, that's not what I want at all. What am I doing here? I don't quite understand here. Oh, I get it now. It's like a Zelda, um, 
Like when you fight Ganon in the older Zeldas. Gotcha. Okay, man, come on. Let's do it. Oh, no. Oh, can I die here? Oh, it's all messed up. You shouldn't be able to die in Mario Golf. Okay, closer is definitely the way to go, though. Okay, here we go. Suspense. Whoa! I might die. I might just straight up die. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay, you regain your health. It's not as brutal as I thought it was. Man, that would be brutal. Alright, here we go. Can we pretend that this one didn't happen? Can we just ignore my total failure right now to do this one? I mean, I still, I guess I could still make it. The music's cool. I have been pleasantly surprised by that. Yeah, welcome to do golf, you're dead. I mean, there is a lightning. Now, to be fair, every time I've ever golfed in real life, there hasn't been a um, angry thunder god coming after me. That has never once happened. There we go. I think I did it. Did I get it? Did I beat him? Nice. I think I did. All right. I don't know why I said that like an excited school teacher. Oh, good job. Lock and stat changes? Yes. So, so Car, what a, what a snack? Oh, wait, no. You're not the guy that went to get your snack. You already got your snack. Incredible. You've proven yourself worthy of my power. Yay! Oh, so I get an air trick shot, I think. Lightning sword. What does that do for me? Do I get a slash Waluigi and a... Wario with the lightning sword? Also, Carl, um... Oh, those are claps. Okay. Swords are dangerous. You can feel the whole side of clouds. Find the treasure. What's going on? I'm sure this is just a convoluted way of getting me to my next ability, but man. Yes. <laughs> well, I think the person with the sword turned out a while back, so we're good. See you later, pal. But bye. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm not accustomed to being busted. I had to collect myself for a moment. Where were we? Ah, yes. You have passed the great trials. Thank you. You've proven your strength and revealed a heart that is noble and just. Or I'm good at golf. I have a long way to such a hero. The one who will save this land. Is there like a dark backstory going on? If you'll allow me to explain the situation we're facing. Okay, I guess I'm going to learn about it. Perhaps you have noticed the weather, extreme weather that has plagued this area. Climate changes in Mario Golf. The only hero... If only the hero you call Bowser could be roused from his slumber. Perhaps I should back up. Yeah. Have you seen the snowy peak that looms over this land? I trust is known as Mount Snow. And it was long ruled by the evil Snow King. Okay. For years, the Snow King cast blizzards down, encasing the world in ice. Until the great hero Bowser arrived, wielding the power of flame. The mighty power awoke the long dormant volcano, releasing a flood of lava that warmed the region and defeated the Snow King. Okay, I don't like the message that this is getting. Praise be to Bowser. His arrival blessed the land with a new thaw and returned peace to the inhabitants. If only that were the end of the tale. The warm weather and other effects could not have been anticipated. 
Strong winds form and scattered pollen from this tree of sleep. When deeply inhaled from a flower, the pollen lured the great Bowser into a sleep from which he has yet to wake. I'm not keeping this voice consistent. With Bowser slumbering, his power flame weakened, slowing the volcanic activity. It's tragic that the Tree of Sleep played a part in this catastrophe. Normally, it is a benevolent force that soothes the collective soul of the region. It has long been revered as a symbol of peace across these lands. Perhaps one day it will soon be again. Or whatever that said. Forgive me, I get carried away when I speak about the Tree of Sleep. I've given you the power to save Mount Snow. You must travel to its peak and defeat the Snow King. Already the Snow King's chill encircles Bowser's castle. Before long it'll be permafrost and he won't stop there. There's so much more at stake, that is why we must seek the power of this sacred flame blast in Balmy Dunes. The beast guards a treasure known as a fire gem, which we can use to combat the Snow King's ice power. Oh my god, there's lore to this. The lightning sword. I have entrusted you as the manifestation of my being. When you wield it, it will be as though I am at your side. Now then, the fire gem rests in the secret flame beast in the desert near a place known as Treasure Corner. You must quest for it to unlock the power of the flame in for yourself. Hurry! To Palmy Dunes! Alright, here we go. I didn't think there'd be lore and stuff. Hi, Toad. Did, did you notice the lightning got behind me? I started to get worried. You were gone for so long. I hope everything's okay. Were you talking to someone? Yeah, there was, there was a lightning god. Okay. You notice that the weather's improved? Yeah, I did. You want to see my lightning sword? All right, back to the clubhouse for a warm beverage. Which I normally want to go for a warm beverage directly after um, golf. Uh, I don't want to do either of these. Okay. I want to go somewhere? Wherever Toad told me to go? Am I going like all the way back to the clubhouse? Can I quick travel there or... No. 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 I don't know how to operate this menu. There we go. There we go. Short rough. These golf turns are kind of legitimately handy. Whoa. All right, here we go. Gotta keep on moving. Trevor, Trevor, tra travel to Treasure Corner. Okay, so I gotta go all the way to probably a different course. Oh, you have arrived. I will now channel my power through you. Oh, more trials? There's so many trials. It does not seem to be working. This process requires great energy. Are you low on energy? Oh, here come two golfers with abundant energy. Let's see how this plays out. Ah, oh, it's these guys. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, let's go. Uh-huh. So do I gotta beat them at, like, combat golf? Uh-huh. The dumb line. I'm a lightning expert. Uh, you play some golf. What is happening? Do not worry. I've simply silenced those two for a moment. The energy is abundant, but easy to control. As we all, their minds are not difficult to crack. I said that all correctly. I will say there are quite a lot of odd thoughts going around there and I'll not burden you with them at this time. But abundant energy, as mentioned, I've harnessed it for you. Use it, use it now. 
Seek the glowing embers of the desert's power. And prepare to unleash your finest bats. Why are they just as a Texan and a pimp? I didn't even question it. Oh, I way overshot that. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's an orb or something. Yeah, I didn't even notice their outfits. Wario and Luigi's outfits. Behold the fire gem. It grants the power of the flame, which you will need. Oh, it's a phoenix. The single player mode just got way more interesting. Oh, it's a, it's a Mal Maltros. Ma Maltros. The, the firebird from Pokemon. You know what I mean. To defeat the sacred flame beast. That was guarding the gym, you must defeat it if we are to leave this place. I feel like that sentence wasn't constructed correctly. Beware, you cannot fight for long in the heat. I forged the energy of those two mustachioed men into lightning orbs. You must use your gold powers to strike the beast with the orbs while there's still time. Oh. Yeah, just straight up a Pimpin and Texan. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire indeed. Oh. Oh, do I want to be? What am I doing? Is that all I need to do? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I can handle that. Now, if you haven't played the single player campaign up until this point, it's been kind of like dull. Not dull, but kind of bland, just tutorials. Well, this is like this is more what I was picturing it was gonna be. So good on them, I guess, for uh, making it more interesting. But we are pretty significantly in into the campaign at this point. I'm happy I stuck with it though. Oh, oh, oh. Is there anywhere I'm supposed to specifically be go Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, you bird. Get it, get it, get it, go. Okay, got him once more. Why do they have lightning swords? The flame beast is growing weak. Now's the time for a death shot. Okay. I've only seen the multiplayer mode till now. Yeah, this is... I bet this is a little different than the multiplayer mode. <laughs> Does your multiplayer mode have... Benevolent bird gods? Wow. I guess it's more of a bird demon. Nope. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think so. You have succeeded. I should have expected nothing less. Well done, Cozy. With that fire gem, you now have the power to take on the Snow King. You can use the power of flame if you encounter it on your journey. Golf speed, my friend. Ah, that's cute. Yay! Okay. Quickly, now to Mount Snow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, uh -huh. well, that was a plot twist. If I'd ever seen one. Like the gods of golf. Now there's there's like the stakes to what's happening. I I honestly thought this whole thing was just gonna be like you play until you get all your abilities and then you're gonna have a final tournament against Mario or something. But no, there's like there's actually stuff 
happening, which is weird. Uh -huh. No, oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to talk to him. Okay, I felt like that was a planned information. That's what I was thinking, right? Like, that seemed to be the most logical way for this to go. Was to just play until you have to play against Mario. The gate is currently closed. I need a gold badge. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. There's a special match. Oh. That stuff drives me crazy. Why would it even let me go all that way if I just had to come back? Whatever. Playing with the silver badge. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. This will be a speed golf match featuring a point based scoring system. You'll score points based on your rank for each hole, which will be determined by how many strokes it took in time. If you want to win, focus on quick, accurate shots and finish each hole. Sorry. Why am I reading this out loud? Yeah, I want to play. Okay. Let's it go. Oh, I'll be against Luigi and Donkey Kong. That's fun. I haven't played against anyone special yet. I mean, I played against a Boo, but he wasn't like Boo. He was just a Boo, just some some ghost. Like my Boo. Where's my Boo? Right. There. Ready? Hot. Nice shot. All right, let's go. Vamanos. Where am I? Okay. Fine, the wind will correct it. Oh, cause I, what? Oh, I see, that was just telling me 30 seconds have passed. Got it. Mob shot, please. There we go. Yeah! Oh. Got a fire. Right, so let's see if that did me good or not versus uh, Luigi and Dinky yeah. Kane. Okay, I got three points. So I want the most points, right? If that, that's what Toad was telling me. Ready? I think that's what Toad was trying to let me know. Excuse me. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, way too hard. Okay, that's still par, right? Yeah, par's fine. Yeah. <gasps> Did I finish out ahead of him? Up. Oh, yeah, I got a, I got a pretty decent lead. How many holes? I really need to pay more attention during directions. my ballet. Okay. 
Ah, oh, there's no good way to do this, is there? I think it's just power through. Yeah, look at that. As long as it don't go in the water, I'm good. There we go. Excuse me, donkey. I want a super lob shot. Just short. There we go. Yeah, man, that lob shot would have been handy when I was playing against Toad earlier. Ooh. Tell you that. Okay, so that's probably the first hole one of them beat me, right? Ah, oh, no, they bogeyed too. Donkey Kong double bogeyed. None of us did good. Oh, I'm liking this lead. I'm really enjoying this lead I got. Ready? Oh, look at them in their super shots. Just as long as neither of those shots are like aggressive to the point where they'll move my ball. I'm okay with that. Yeah, cool. I'm fine with that. Driver, head for that spot. That's fine. Wind will roughly correct it. Oh, oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> there we go. I know I just got the lob shot, but I think it's my new favorite thing. It makes all these approaches so much easier. Make it, make it. Yeah. I parred in roughly the same amount of time. So I should be a plus three there too. Plus two. That's fine. As long as I keep the lead. There we go. Oh, I do have enough for a special uh, hit. I'll be good. There we go. Oh, that's a clear shot if I've ever seen one. And of course I go in the water. Why wouldn't I go in the water? Okay. Clear the water, please. Okay. Got to head to bed. We'll be lurking for a bit. Well, thank you for stopping in. I hope you come back uh, for future streams. Yeah, I'll probably be wrapping this up and eh, not too long. Yeah, that's probably the worst I've done. Triple bogey. Triple bogey. Yeah, I only got one point on that one. There's no way. Ah, uh, they're catching. Ready? Come on, call this episode there. The stream happens every Tuesday, Thursday, both here on the YouTube channel and over at Twitch at Cozy Blanket Gaming. In the next episode, I will see if I beat Luigi and Donkey Kong at this. I'll see you in the future. Won't you please subscribe?